I would say it is time for me to go grocery shopping. Today is an errands day. I am running around, got some returns to make. I might do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So come along with me today for some, we gotta go to Kohl's, we gotta go to Restaurant Depot, we gotta go to Sam's Club, we gotta go to the post office. So let's go, hang out with me in the Hudson Valley. It kind of sounded like a radio announcement. Come hang out with me in the Hudson Valley. 98.1, Whitney Radio. No, no, no. Uh, sorry for that. Gotta get some Starbucks. Hi, Ooh, let me double check. I honestly should though. Let me just run over. Okay. She's so sweet. Yeah, grande mocha, two pump oat milk, iced or hot? Hot, please. Oh my God, she was so cute. Did you hear her go boop, 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 boop? Oh my God, so freaking cute. When she handed me my order, she goes, have the best day. Oh my God, I will. I love happy people. I love when people love their jobs and they have a good day. That's the best. If you have not had the sous vide eggs from Starbucks, where the heck are you at, girl? These are some of the most delicious things on this planet. They're like little sous vide egg bites, the bacon greers, my favorite. But they have all different kinds. Ha ha ha. I mean, look at it. It's like fluffy, it's creamy, it's a little bit of crunchy, toasty on the bottom. Oh my God. 12 out of 10. Highly recommend. All right, first stop, Kohl's. We are here. I have to go return an Amazon package. Kohl's is now accepting like Amazon returns in their store, which is kind of cool. I hate them. I don't think I've been in a Kohl's in like over a decade. Um, I never really shopped there. We're gonna go see what's inside, I guess. Okay, so the Barefoot Dreams blankets are $147. I had someone ask if I could find a dupe for this. So let's look. The fabric content is 100% polyester, cozy chic knit. I feel like, I mean, it is very cozy, but it has like a semi high pile brushed polyester knit with kind of a thicker rib knit on the end, but it's not even a full rib knit. It's just like a, a thicker edging. Hmm. We can find a cheaper one. You don't need to pay $150 for a polyester blanket. This looks really cozy. One of you guys recommended the Kulabera from Kohl's. Yeah, I would definitely agree that this is like super cozy and plush. Look at these pillows. That is super soft. Okay, I think I might have to get some little puppy toys. Oh my gosh. So I ended up going a little bit crazy on the dog toys, but they were 50% off. Oh my God, Lucy loves these like really long floppy ones. <laughs> yeah, she loves like the long floppy ones, especially with like the crunchy plastic on the inside. And she had, sweetie, my parents' beagle used to have a little hedgehog, porcupine, what is this? A hedgehog, I think, just like this. <laughs> Um, and she loved it, but it has since been ruined. A little ducky, oh my God, it's so cute. And then there was a two pack of these guys. Um, oh, and then I got this for Jackson because he tends to chew up plushy toys like really quickly. So we will, we'll let him play with a plushy toy and then take it away before he ruins it and give him something like this. So I got all of those toys and then a couple little things for my uh, sister and brother-in-law. I can't show you because they watch the vlog, um, but all those for 50 bucks. Crazy. Okay, Coles. I'll see you. All right. Next stop, Restaurant Depot. Now, if you're not familiar with Restaurant Depot, Restaurant Depot is like where restaurants go to shop. It's like, it's all bulk, like big bulk, like bigger than Sam's Club or Costco. Like it's like a lot. Um, you used to have to have a tax ID number, like you had to be a registered business to get a membership to here, to shop here. But I think because of the pandemic, they started opening up to just regular people who wanted to come in and shop. I mean, I still kind of do have like imposter syndrome when I'm in here, um, cause I'm not a restaurant, I'm getting like not that much stuff. But I am a legitimate business through my B&B. I don't cook breakfast for my guests, but I do supply like coffee, tea, hot chocolate, all of the uh, baking spices, salt, pepper, cinnamon, sugar, flour, all that kind of stuff. So it is way more cost effective to buy it in bulk and kind of like spread it out throughout all of the, um, the three properties. So that is what I'm doing here. I especially need coffee. We go through coffee like that. So I provide whole bean coffee. Each kitchen has a grinder. I don't know. I think it's just kind of like 
a little bit more of a luxurious experience. If you're not used to grinding your own beans, it might be a new experience and you might enjoy it. So that is what I am going in there to do right now. Get some coffee and other stuff, maybe some cheese, cause their cheese is really cheap. And I love cheese. And they have really good pasta. I don't know, let's go. Well, I'll, sh I'll show you. So these are like the only size carts they have. So now you know what I mean when it's like bulk bulk, you know? This is the coffee I typically get. Like a five pound bag of coffee for 21 bucks. So I'm gonna get two of these cause we go through these pretty quickly. I typically get these like giant things of olive oil. I mean, this one is 30 bucks. You can get smaller ones. I do really like this one. This is a little bit smaller. It's easier to pour out of the top. And these are like 17 bucks. So I'll just get one of these. Then I also provide like mayonnaise and stuff in each of the kitchens. So we're running kind of low. So a couple of those. But like, I mean, look at these like giant bags of rice and stuff so this is definitely more um if you owned a restaurant or if you're having like a giant party um you could come here but like i don't need you know like a 50 pound bag of flour but if you were a bakery you could these are the smaller ones i typically put these in the big kitchen um you could get these i don't think i would ever use like this much personally um but they have this kind of stuff here. Like, look at this huge thing of chocolate. My God. Now we're going into the refrigerator section. Like this whole thing is a refrigerator. It's crazy. The whole thing is just cheese. All right, we're gonna all be stocked up on coffee. Hot chocolate. We got a whole bunch of stuff. So this is kind of for personal use. The pastas are really great, you guys. These are like $3 a piece. Got some grapes, got some mushrooms. I did end up getting some cheese. Their tzatziki is fantastic. Got some bananas, got some spinach. Mark, he missed his train to work. Oh, so we're gonna go surprise him. Uh, he missed it by like 10 seconds. They pulled away like super fast. I mean, these Metro North train lines are on time and they leave it like, you know, the minute plus 10 seconds. Let's see, where is he, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him just pouting. Hey, Franco's. Hi! Wanna meet me down here? Yeah. Are you kind of happy you missed your train? Yes. So that way you can have a snack from Restaurant Depot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a little honey surprise. I was on the platform about to cry. Hey, were you about to cry? Almost. Internally. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you might be pouting. I don't cry. Sulk. Yes, you do. <laughs> Nine point four on the Hummus Richter scale. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're, a the... <laughs> you are a... <laughs> You're a mess. Put that on the internet. You are a mess. I know, but the internet doesn't need to know that. Honey, it's okay. We're all the mess. Post office time. Got to return some uh, jeans and check my PO box. See if there's anything in there. Did get a package. Hello. All right, we got one package in the mail. Uh, let's open it up. Let's see what it is. They are sheets. Hypress sent me some sheets to test out and review for you guys. I'm pretty sure that these are 100% cotton, but I'm gonna have to do the whole the wash test, the dry test, sleep in them, and give them the full testing process so i can review them and share them with you guys and tell you if i recommend them or not but i've been looking for more of like bamboo or linen or 100 percent cotton type of textiles because i'm trying to make my home a little bit more sustainable so i'm pretty sure that these are 100 percent cotton so i will be I'll, I'll update you later on after i have time to give these a full 
the full test. Look at this little tiny puppy. Oh my God, I can hold it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Hi, honey. It's a blue nose razor pit bull. Oh my God, he's so sweet. He's nine weeks, he's the runt of the litter. And his name is Fragile. Look at this little baby. Oh my god. What a pleasant surprise. And you know what you think. Say hi, honey. Oh, he's cold. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye, honey. Love you. Love you more. No way. <laughs> oh, I cannot get over how cute the puppy was. And that guy, let me hold him. Oh my god. The guy was like the nicest guy in the world and his puppy was so cute and he let me hold him. <sighs> that made my day, this is a good day. That lady at Starbucks, she knew it was gonna be a good day. It was a good day. Okay, we're at Sam's Club. Okay, this is pretty much the exact same thing as the Barefoot Dreams fabric. Yeah, this is polyester. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that they're from the same factory this is the members mark luxury premiere collection they have like cardigans and like lounge pants slippers um if you're looking for a barefoot dreams dupe fabric um this is pretty much it the the barefoot dream seems a little bit stretchier um but i mean this is spot on twenty dollars sixteen dollars for the pants slippers um they have to have throw blankets let me look okay i found them 30 bucks it is the same material as the other stuff 100 percent polyester so on a luxury scale if you're considering the barefoot dreams like a 10 out of 10 i would say that this would be probably like an 8 out of 10 it is very very similar um it's not exact but it is definitely very similar so if you're going for like a kind of like stretchy um high piled knit and you're looking for a budget option, come to Sam's Club because these are very similar. Like the light blue is really nice. I mean, there is like a tone on tone cheetah. If that's your jam. Um, but check them out over here. I'm done at Sam's, I got the stuff. So I was looking for like possibly some Christmas gifts for my nieces and nephews and there wasn't anything like super special and there was all like very generic basic stuff. So one thing I did find was this kind of flannel button up. Um, I have a guest currently staying with us who is from LA and his dream is to like just chop down wood and like be that farmy country lumberjack. Um, and he was like, he really asked, he's like, can you, do you think you can make that happen? <laughs> so um, I got him this jacket to wear while he's living out his fantasy of being a lumberjack chopping down wood. So I'll ask him if I can film him chopping wood. Um, I don't know how private he is, but I'll ask. And if he's okay with it, I will include it in Vlogmas later on, whenever we decide to set that up for him. But I thought it was so funny that his dream is to just like chop wood. I think he just wants like an Instagram moment, um, but we're gonna make it happen for him. So I got him that little flannel. Uh, I think he's going to be super thrilled. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hopefully um, he will let me film the whole process. But if not, I'll let you know how it goes. So I got to get home, unload all this stuff, and feed the puppies, play with them. It's starting to get dark. Um, and then edit this video and get it up for you guys. So I think I'm going to say bye here. Uh, because by the time I get home, it's going to be dark. Um, so thank you for spending today with me. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, did I hold a baby puppy today? Yeah. Oh, are you jealous? He's a little bit jealous, but his tail's wagging, so.